Okay, we have to speak. Definitely this is not good weather, I wanted to show you some of the surroundings which are really nice when the weather is good but... So welcome to the end of year wrap up when we speak about the channel, we speak about what happened during the year and we speak uh, about the plans for the next year. So first things first, actual versus budget. So at the end of 2020 gave myself some objectives and uh, so the first thing to do is just to benchmark the performance of the channel against those objectives like every good businessman would do so the objectives that i gave myself were the following 70,000 subscribers an average views uh, of 11,000 a day and the number of views no lower than 4,000 in any day where a video was not published and it was more than two days far from the latest video published. So did I get to those results? Nope, not even close. The number of subscribers is 50,000 and so it's 20,000 shorts of the target that I gave myself and yeah, no excuses, <laughs> we just didn't get there. The average views are around 8,000 a day, which is sort of short uh, from the target in the same measure as the subscribers are short. So the number of subscribers drives the number of views. So the number of people that are going to watch the video is roughly proportional to the subscribers because these are people that already watch my channel that demonstrated some interest. So YouTube is showing the uh, videos to the subscribers. So yeah, no, didn't make it. What we made though was the target of 4,000 views in a day between videos because the last time that I had less than 4,000 views on the channel was probably mid of September. So in the last few months we got there and so this is positive. So should I be satisfied? Well, I suppose not. The channel didn't grow fast enough. Having said that, I should go back being realistic. Now, let's stop being a and let's look at the progress of the channel. And I really can't complain. I mean, the the initial objective was not realistic, probably. Quality of the viewers greatly increased, and this is something that is very important to me. There are a lot of people who are genuinely, genuinely interested in the stuff that I'm interested in, and I make video about. This is great. I don't know how grateful uh, yeah like i can't tell you how grateful i am of having found so many like-minded people this is this is something great for me really really great in terms of views i actually struggled till summer first part of the year wasn't great but after that it really took off in terms of views uh, new viewers and new returning viewers people being interested into the channel that was great there were a few videos particularly those about china that really did great actually i can probably show you just give me a second Okay, back to the car. So I'm really, really, really happy how things turned out in the second part of the year. I'm also really happy about the Discord channel. It's a great community. It's a great community with very, very little problems of uh, moderation. They always discuss very interesting stuff. They always bring up very intelligent and clever observation, consideration. There is a constant stream of news. Uh, yeah, it's definitely great. I'm really, really happy. They help me in a few videos. You haven't seen all of them yet, but they, they will come. Many of the pictures that you see in the daily posts are actually from the Discord community, so they are great, and I will never thank them enough. This year I had more than 5 million views 
I think if you think about this number, five million, five million is enormous. You can picture five million people in the same place. It's the population of a large city, it's a population of a small state. It's just incredible. <music> And then you may ask, did you learn any lesson this year that is worth sharing? Of course I did. The main lesson that I got was that the subject is the most important thing. I sometimes make videos about particular subjects that they are not really easy to find on YouTube because I thought they were interesting. They were interesting to me, but definitely uh, they were not interesting to the majority of the viewers. I mean, the hardcore viewers of my channel who are really, really interested in all these technological details, really appreciated them. Other viewers just didn't care. So everybody was waiting for a decently detailed video about the Chinese Air Force and those did great just for that. This is obviously a double-edged sword because from the hardcore viewers I received invitation of not to popularizing the channel too much because yes there are plenty of channels <laughs> like that on on YouTube and there's plenty of information uh, generic information like that on the internet and don't worry I'm not doing what I'm doing is to alternate the content in uh, some periods of the years we will bend more toward a more popular more um, let's say more palatable content for the large public in other periods of the years we will focus more on the specialist content then there's another lesson that i learned which is production value matters and matters a lot on youtube they tell you that the gear doesn't matter and that's definitely not true unless you are one of those really gifted people that are capable of maintaining the attention of the people just through charisma and, and the way they relate with the camera if you are just trying to do education because that's what i'm basically doing it's a sort of an educational channel then production value matters and matters a lot the production values of the videos in let's say after the summer has increased it takes longer they are much more complex to do but just improving the video quality just improving the sound quality just improving quality of the editing that definitely brought results in particular the pacing of the video is very important so what you're going to see in the future is an increase of production value. I have acquired some extra gear, I have changed some of the software that I'm using and I will acquire some more gear, there's some other stuff that probably going to be useful and uh, you will see soon after Christmas. And please, as always say, the comments below are open to everyone. So please let me know what do you think. Let me know if I interpret what happened well or you have a different idea. Mind, I read almost everything i really do appreciate your opinion and your comments i really do appreciate a well articulated comment a well articulated opinion or a piece of thinking around everything you want and in particular in this case around the channel how you would like it to be how what you would like uh, me to do and so on Okay, enough of being emotional, uh, what we're going to do in the 2022. Oh, well, as I said, I am trying to increase the production value a little bit. You will see, not anticipating anything, but I hope there will be an improvement. Then what are we going to talk about? Definitely in the first couple of months of the year, we are going to cover some very particular and peculiar subjects. Yeah, these are really uh, things that you don't find on YouTube very easily or very often. After that, there's a lot that needs covering. The series on the F-35 will keep going. It will take a few big videos for, uh, for it to be over. We will have more stuff about China. I actually managed to put my hands on quite a lot of material that could be uh, really interesting and there is stuff that we never covered I keep receiving questions requests about the Eurofighter and I never covered it that's something that we are definitely going to do 
in uh, in the new year let's say before summer and then we will keep track of the current news and the current development of the aircraft world again comments are open let me know what you would like to see actually knowing what you would like to see from the comments is something which is quite useful just mind i have no access to secret stuff so if something is not in the public domain uh, there's very little i can talk about i also would like to try again some cooperations with other youtubers there are a couple of small guys that are actually very interesting and they do really interesting stuff one of the things that i'm planning to do is trying to contact them during this year and see if we can do something together well okay i think this is everything it's enough bubbling so i don't know exactly when this video is going to go live but i hope you had you are having and you're going to have some good end of year festivities wherever you are this year you've been amazing and let's try to be amazing all together next year as well Thank you very much and see you in 2022.